So let's just start. I mean, so what happened? Scott. Well, just tell me what happened. This week was going to be an easy breezy video about graffiti inside Porta Johns. Yeah. And so we figured there would be hilarious art yeah. all as up usual, inside. As we thought was usual. Yeah, we thought that was totally normal. And so we were going to even display some explicit art and laugh about it. And that was going to be a good time. But we haven't been able to make that video at all. Yeah. All, all the porta potties were, just to tell you guys, all the porta potties were too clean of graffiti. Uh, apparently, yeah. there's a product that they clean them all with it. And we'll talk about that later. But we had this thing planned out. We, had, we were going to have uh, an anonymous, quote, anonymous artist that was complaining about censorship by the man. I and am a former porta john graffiti artiste i didn't go to school i learned from the streets like once we go down that video rabbit hole we we sort of have to finish it especially when we spent so much time looking at porta johns so yeah and filming and we we went out to asap mm -hmm. who is one of our um uh suppliers of the porta potties on the sites and uh interviewed ross there um and he had some pretty interesting in sight. We have 1,200 construction units, special event restrooms, we have about 1,500 of those. 830 restrooms on a route right now, between split between four guys. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of toilets, yeah. The guys, they, they, they run. About porta potties. Like, I, I always assumed that subcontractors and my other, the other people that worked on the job site with us were tearing up the bathrooms, wrecking them, and I was just, oh, for years. And he said, "99% of that damage." And Drunks. That's what you know. I guess that's the inebriation. Yeah, that's what that's what they they tear them up more. So I mean, I've seen more. Um, you know, not so much job sites, but like you know, festivals, tilt seats ripped off, urinals ripped off. You know, I don't know if you watched the national championship parade. Somebody literally piled drive a restroom, catch on fire. You know, the where they built the Target downtown on Broad Street. You can still see our. Um, big mural of blue flame that was there on the sidewall. Um, I pass it every day. So is that an issue that people that aren't subscribers to the service go in and just build a fire? Yes. The bad stuff or whatever is just people walking in off the street late at night, drunk, coming around. Uh, they, they, he said they had a problem with festivals. Festivals, events, game days, I think, are just high traffic shenanigans. And that's where <laughs> things are like the urinals are getting broken off. The seats are getting torn off. He said that one of the hardest things that they have to deal with is when clothes and stuff get dropped into yeah, the... Yeah, people put clothes in oh, there. Like and what? it like clogs up the, the so hose. So they're hosing it out and it clog clogs all the hose. Cell phones. Many times, especially after a UGA football game, I mean, we find phones all the time. You know, somehow it's still charged and they will literally show up here saying, hey, find, you know, find my iPhone. My phone is here. And we're like, yeah, it's down there somewhere <laughs> covered in shit. And they go get it every time. We find a lot of goodies, but stuff we don't touch, you know. Even funnier is the graffiti that we did see there was like math on the sides of the walls. Like someone just desperately needed something to yeah, write on. Yeah, they were on. sitting on the can and, and doing their uh, estimates. Not on two, two of them. Not not just one, but two of the Porta Johns. Someone was sitting in the toilet and they did their calculations for their uh, their upcoming lumber order while sitting on the toilet. And then there was your standard, a little bit of your standard, you know, swastikas and... Body parts, boobs, all swear words. Or, and he said they have a product that takes all the magic marker off. Um, and uh, so that's why there's no crazy graffiti like when I was growing up. It's called and Art <laughs> Art Blaster, which I love yeah. that the, the chemical company that's local that makes it named it and still respected the graffiti as art. It's not graffiti remover, it's <laughs> art blaster. blaster. Well, there you have it. That's our hilarious Porta John video. How long have we been recording? I mean, it's been 11 minutes. How is that possible? It's a long video. That is gonna be a long This is the long longest video we ever made. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs>
as an introduction, this is the longest video we ever made, and it's about not making a video. <laughs> I just don't get it.